This section on Yojana focuses on science and technology. Now, interesting to note, this June section is just before your prelims and three questions have been directly from this edition. One was on Qubit, the other was on NFT and you had another question which uh, pertained to it, uh, which was asked in your prelims 2022 examination. So, extremely important section. Now, NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, as we have seen, these are informations which are stored in the blockchain itself, especially the system known as ethereum now these digital certificates cannot be tempered and are extensively used for visual arts performing arts so these uh, develop as independent storage and authentication and has created more innovation in the uh, field so it could be creators developers artists merchants uh, so what they do is uh, the commodity goes from one to another and based on each uh, consumer to consumer movement the uh, the author or the creator gets the royalty for the same some of the popular apps in the same are board app yatch club cool cats and crypto punks and some of the uh, areas where nfts are commonly used are collectible gaming art visual assets and so on now coming on to blockchain, it is a continuous system where countless computers across the globe are working together. So the same copy is stored in numerous systems at the same time, much more safer than your bank ledger, which is stored at just one place. So the information is, uh, is much more secure and the cryptocurrency transactions are done through blockchain. Metaverse is a parallel system of digital world that contains the things that exist in the physical world. So something which is here, could be present somewhere else as well and this is the virtual or what we call as the digital avatar companies like microsoft meta facebook decentral nvidia and unity are working for the same quantum computing as we said qubit was a question from a traditional binary number q zero and one we have now qubits uh, which are the quantum bits and the qubits can be 0, 1 or both. Now, uh, in a normal computer, it is transistors which are used. However, in quantum computing, it is atoms, electrons, ions and photons which are used. And the system actually encrypts the information which is called as the RSA. Uh, now, the most important thing was the first small super compu quantum computer was built in 1997. In 2007, D-Wave Systems of Canada built a 28-bit then Regetti built a 128 qubit uh, system and then we have institutions like IBM, Intel, Google, Regetti, uh, NASA, D-Wave which are working in the same line. Artificial intelligence is through which we can change the life of the people. Machines get equipped with AI with better response and intelligence networking and they are used to actually analyze large amount of data, create uh, good computing capacities, administrative sections, multilingual teaching and internet connectivity. The applications are mainly seen for education, teaching, medical, uh, automated grading system and natural language processing. Then we have internet of things. IoT is simply where uh, we actually have a physical of uh, network of physical objects like things, sensors. Uh, for various purpose where data is exchanged over internet and through IoT we can record, monitor and adjust every interaction to those connected devices. So let's say I am in office and I want to switch off uh, the lights back at my house, I can do so using the internet of things. So information can be collected and sent by the sensors received and acted like a printer and both can be done simultaneously. Cloud computing is a computational power or a storage capacity which requires AI tools and here we have the use of software as well as hardware so gmail dropbox are good examples now cloud is an infrastructure on internet where uh, all the resources can be brought together so SaaS and pass are two common words so software as a service where uh, it can be used without buying the software for a limited period of time where pass is a technology where one can develop on the platform as a service okay so you can develop on the same platform with more integracies the next is digital disruptors so Aadhaar is being held by one sixth of the population in the world uh, which is in India and this focuses on digital inclusion UIDA accepts 32 documents as proof of identity 45 as address proof 14 as relationship proof and 15 as birth proof and based on that Aadhaar is issued through Aadhaar, DBT or direct beneficiary transfer can be done. Face authentication has recently been uh, launched using indigenous smartphone solutions. Uh, we are also adopting technologies for uh, the UIDA which is my Aadhaar portal 
मल्टीपल सर्विसेज क्यू आर कोड्स वर्चुअल आधार लिंक्स डिजी लॉकर्स प्राइवेट गूगल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स इंटीग्रेशन विद इसरो फॉर रेजिडेंट सर्विसेज एंड वेरियस फ्रॉड एनालिटिक्स एंड क्रिप्टो सोल्यूशन सो दोज आर सम ऑफ द एरियाज वेयर टेक्नोलॉजी हैज बीन यूज एंड द टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन इज मेनली इन फेस ऑथेंटिकेशन आयरिस एंड देन फिंगर प्रिंटिंग For the infrastructure, it is ISO twenty seven thousand and one certified for information security, and that provides private protection as an extension to the ISO services. So security strengthening is one of the major ideas. Now in medicine, we have seen that medicine is not just a science; it's arts as well. So there are various procedures and development for those procedures, such as high end robotics, three D printing, data services, data sciences requires uh, AI, uh, AR, VR, and MR, which is augmented. reality virtual reality and mixed reality all these three are extremely important we have covered a separate lecture on that so just uh, refer to a separate lecture as well for more understanding of the concepts now retni uh, retni uh, retina which is the implant for the eye and for the ear which is the cochlear implant are now uh, based on smart chip solutions which provide total functional replacement of any lost brain functions cybernetic organisms which are cyborgs are a leap forward in the medical technology because uh, through that we can create mini superhuman powers in selective sensory functions uh, 3d prints in the medicals have been designed to bring in quality functionality and aesthetics and specialized polymers have been used for the same now for the specialized field for example endovascular surgery which is a innovative field we have focused on drug coated balloons cystoplastic balloons and so on uh, then we are also excited about the developments with the electronic blood vessels because it is more flexible durable and biodegradable as an implant in radiology diagnostics is become a major source so understanding the diagnostics with accuracy uh, workforce efficacy and uh, relieving the burnout uh, actually helps a lot radio genomics is again where image details and genomic data of the patients would be dealt with critical care medicines have been used where a federated database system can be released and virtual reality uh, can be used for simulated laboratory simulated uh, application for public health we have now talked about geospatial technology wearable technologies micro blogging monitors 3d printing telemedicine through which remote areas could be connected so all of those are part of internet of medical things which has been given a separate classification as iomt not iot internet of things and this provides a decentralized health a uh, system with health governance and transportation system uh, for the banking again we have seen big data machine learning and robotics have paved a great way uh, after the liberalization the first atm was of hsbc bank operational in us and the first foreign bank to open its atm in india in mumbai which was hsbc then icici started with internet banking central bank of india was the first bank to offer credit card facility in india and since then we have focused on smart virtual assistants robot takes direct benefit transfer uh, talked about cyber security biometrics chatbots for the core banking solution we are now using uh, vr ar voice and gesture finger based payment systems national automated clearing house was launched in december 2012 national payments corporation of india runs this services and plays an important role in database management uh, atms have been started so atms mobile banking neft bank correspondence uh, to mobile banking are some of the new ways uh, in the banking section so digital india mission payment system Terms, rupee kisan credit card are some of the developments uh, we have also seen that there is aeps which is aadhar enabled payment system as a crucial financial inclusion in the life of the numerous people and a financial initiative of 0.5% of the transaction amount maximum up to uh, 10 rupees per transaction has been taken uh, besides this as a, uh, accessible healthcare system so pradhan mantri uh, आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना इज वन ऑफ दोज द बेसिस ऑफ द स्कीम दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एंड हाउ मेनी आयुष्मान भारत कार्ड्स हैव बीन जनरेटेड एंड द हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन एंड द कवरेज बेस्ड ऑन इट अलॉन्ग विद दैट इट एम्स टू सेव मनी एंड द लाइफ आपके द्वार आयुष्मान इज एन इनिशिएटिव टू इम्प्रूव द सेचुरेशन ऑफ आयुष्मान कार्ड्स एंड इंक्रीज अवेयरनेस अबाउट द स्कीम स्पेशल कैम्प बींग ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर द सेम 
The next important is hand woven mohren yoga mats. Now this is an initiative of the fishing community using natural material from deep bill uh, wetland, and it is uh, near the deep bill wildlife sanctuary that uh, we have the yoga mat named as Kam Sorai, which is purple mohren, uh, a resident bird which is located in this region. And the uh, basic idea is it is actually a product made out of natural material from water hyacinth, which is considered as an uh, invasive species is growing uh, extensively in the form, farms and the uh, lake areas uh, this has been used to uh, have the yoga mats uh, this technology has been done by national uh, northeast center for technology application and research under dst and has been based on three aspects of right revolution and relationship 100% uh, biodegradable and 100% compostable mat which has been developed by this community so uh, another important topic is for civil services capacity building is important so strengthening the public institutions building up modern technology having uh, the mission karma yogi empowering the civil servants with efficient delivery uh, for high quality standards uh, to that we have the various annual capacity building plans supervision standardization harmonization knowledge partners that are coming together and the global summits for governance uh, among other milestones we have those for jan suraksha that is uh, the pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana the jyoti bima jeevan jyoti bima yojana and the atal pension yojana so three of those have been mentioned here so those were some of the important points that we have covered for this yojana but indeed this yojana focused extensively on the science and tech developments and for the next uh, exam metaverse is an important question uh, augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality as i said we have covered a separate video on that extremely important topic again we have the mohren yoga mats another important topic for this edition. Thanks.